Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Titans Creed from Project Phoenix Productions and I am going to get well stuck in with XCOM Enemy Unknown for the first time. And uh, joining me is uh, the big man from Last Minute Continue, Mr. Kevin Eva. How are you, sir? I am fantastic, actually. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing very well indeed. Brilliant stuff. How are you, sir? Um, surviving. Well, I well, surviving. Well, yeah, I don't know. Right, uh, I've never played this before. Nah, I'm gonna do normal. I think anything else is a bit I, more difficult. I, I would even consider doing easy, to be honest. Oh really? Nah. Yeah, I I not, I've not played it before. I, I think it could be un bit unforgiving, and I wouldn't touch those. Nah, I'm not touching those. <laughs> and I'm these touch look. Don't round. touch that either. So. Uh, put it on. Do not, do not put on Iron Man. Well, Iron Man's just if your units die, they're dead, yeah, instead of just being yeah, super like, injured. Yeah, there's right. like, there are no saves or anything. Oh, no saves either! Oh, sorry, sorry, there, there's no, or, or rather you can't reload a save. Play with a single save that's updated automatically as you progress. All right, so basically when you lose someone, it saves it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, no, let's not do that, and let's do the tutorial. I'll go normal. <laughs> Normal's fine. Well... I've turned subtitles on and everything else like that for anybody that watches uh, the VODs, which will be going up on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I've never played this. I've heard good things. And um, from what I've seen of uh, XCOM 2, it looks very, very pretty. Very pretty. Mm. Uh, I'm not Absolutely. sure. Yeah. Uh, you are, believe your own XCOM game is going up soon? Question mark? Uh, um, I'm looking to do one with the LMC crew starting this. When you say LMC crew, do you mean just them in game or with them as commentary? Like, oh, uh, oh. I, I, I like I like the idea of bringing them along and then killing them. Reacting with horror as they die. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, yes, yeah, mysterious factors are materializing. No, oh, so that's is that deadly alien gas? Perfectly benign alien gas. Ah, I see. No, no, that's all not right. I get, I get the feelings I should have War of the Worlds playing right now in the background. Yes. Oh. Nice. That guy's, that guy's toast. Oh, a lot of the population toast. That's fine. So, I presume it gets super challenging. Um. Only if you make mistakes, you will be punished no, commander. accordingly. In light if of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, quiet, this council of nations has been pushed to approve play, activation. Uh, sometimes of you will have to go project. aggressive. You so have yes, been chosen uh, to, to set up this initiative. mysterious XCOM to oversee our efforts. Set up by a League of Nations. Your efforts will have come together with lots of planets. Future. And uh, it's you are the last line of defense. You You're the first line of defense. You are the defense. You are the commander who is in charge of the soldiers. He's the one man who will actually move all the soldiers around. So any decision Good is up luck, to you. Um, what you do in terms of the, um, the tactics, the movements, um, how you load up your soldiers. Uh, they live or they die. Humanity lives or dies. By your head. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Commander Creed. Commander Creed. Of the Titan Assault Force? Yeah, that'll do. Uh, right, so what's this? Uh, I know bogeys. So I presume this is going to be the tutorial mission. Yes. Operation Devil's Moon. Interesting. I like how, even though I messed around with all the sound settings, they were incredibly loud for all the cinematics. Good job, game. Uh, I've seen him pop up before. I didn't... What? Down here? No, the, um... Oh, up here. The guy from Central on the actual screen there. I've never seen it. It might be because... My settings, probably. I, it might be because I've turned subtitles on. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, he was actually in the, the centre window. I mean, oh, right. You'll, you'll get that all the time when various people chiming in. But, um, 
I presume this happens on every mission, then. Like, uh, he'll chat about... He'll give you a brief rundown, obviously, which you tore is a little bit uh, different and engaging, so probably why he's a there in the mission of activity. Fair enough. Yeah. These guys, okay. are, the, these guys are all your, your basic soldiers. Alright. This is still a very decent looking game. Hmm. It's still, I mean, the the colours on from what I've seen of XCOM 2 look very, very pretty. Like they're very bright. It's a very bright colour, but I presume that's just because of the story. It's uh, the story they've based it on. I have dudes. Look at the dudes. All the young dudes. Oh, uh, and a chick. I have dudes and a chick. These guys are like your, your basic soldiers, they've got your basic loadouts. Uh, they have no special uh, abilities. Okay, where am I? Oh, right, there I am. Right, so. Why does it keep doing that? There we go. Okay. Use the mouse to select a highlighted position and right click to move. Okay, so I really can't do anything else other than that. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's your it's your best move anyway. So, a soldier uh, can move up to two times. There is you know soldier flag. So where's that flag? Is it down here? Oh right, it's this thing right underneath there. Um, yes. Right. So how do I select somebody else? Tab. No. Uh, it will tell you. Oh, it's tell it. It's missing the heart at the moment. Which will <laughs> yeah. allow you to do that. I'm missing the tutorial. Yes, okay, that's nice. I can see that. So it wants me to dash. Okay. Any any time you do two moves in one go, or you, you do the second move, which is also a movement. Yep. That is. All right. So I have a move. I have a move, and then I have an action, and the action can be to also move further. Uh, you can also do an action first, and certain skills will allow you to do the actions and movements in different orders. And all right so is it always better to have a full cover instead of a half cover uh yes because uh, the, the more you're in cover the uh, greater your chance that uh, you'll be safe from anybody firing at you and also if you're in full cover um nobody can see you the enemy can't see you right uh, you want me to charge all the way over there that's a bit silly isn't it Okay. I, I like how he talks behind the behind the butt of his gun, so there's no limit. <laughs> oh, that's charming. He's had his face ripped off. Or something. His eyes gouged out by the thing. <laughs> How can you understand when nobody else can? What? What? What is this game? Okay. Can cover long distances by dashing, so I can just choose for them to dash straight out if I choose. And I'm going to presume it's not going to let me move anywhere else other than that, so. <clears throat> yeah, so it's obviously advisable to never, really never leave your soldier out of cover. At least they then have some degree of protection. Right, okay, yeah, that makes sense. <sighs> wow. <laughs> um, hmm. That's pretty grim. I'll be honest, pretty grim. It's not exactly, uh... It's kid-friendly. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> have you not done the tutorial before, or has it just been a while? No, well, if I have, I can remember any of this. <laughs> this is, uh, far more cinematic in terms of uh, the actual soldiers and doing something like that. Alright, what's going to move here? So, I'm getting to move to the alien object.
It's an air balloon. It's a puppy. <laughs> it's definitely not a satellite. Some of the dime a dozen, actually, and they'll <laughs> never be important to you again, apart from being recovered. Possible. It's not really showing me anything really of how to do anything, it's just telling me where to move. I'm not really a fan of this tutorial just yet. It seems rather forceful in the way it's trying to teach me how to do things. You will just smash your way through anything. Uh -huh. In the event that there's, there'll be a door, a door down, there's a window, you'll smash it. Even if there's a door, there's a window next to it, often you'll just smash it, go straight through the window <laughs> as opposed to the door. Okay. Makes makes perfect sense, that does. Well, where do you want me to move? Uh, you want me to move there? So all my, all my guys are in half cover. Oh, open door. No, going through a window. Oh, yeah. Could you uh, speak English, please, love? Oh, you're in Germany, though. This is the thing. It's, uh, oh, am I? I never even yes, noticed. You, uh, by, 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 I believe you are. Um, it's, it's in German. The, the doctor, who is one of the uh, three main characters, as it were, um, is also German. I like the fact. In shock. I like the fact that this is a dashing move, and I have to move in carefully. Run at him! Move carefully whilst you dash. Okay, you you should have more visibility. <laughs> you will in the actual game. You'll have more visibility than you currently do. Um, do from the actual. Yeah. Oh. I get the feeling this guy's gonna die. What a surprise! Am I going to get flanked from like all sides and just lose all my dudes? Yes, I am. No! Oh, I'm suppressed, okay. So, what does suppressed mean? Oh, I've pinned down. Uh, suppressed is... Oh, uh, suppressed is if you... Um, you're basically with fire held down in position. Huh. If you move, they'll have a free shot. Um... As if they can see you, that is. So, what? yeah, you, you're, you're, your team just set up to die for this tutorial, clearly. Yeah, apparently um, so. So press enter to enter, activate the tactical combat UI. What's. Oh, Alright. Yeah. So, I'm, I, I, what does it mean if it's yellow? I presume it means uh, flanked. It means that you are flanking them. If you put your mouse over the alien, you'll actually. Use them. In the mask, and you'll actually get that percentage to hit. Oh, uh, right. Uh, so he's in he's in full cover, but he is also flanked. Or rather, he is fully flanked. Okay, so yeah, I want to move there. Then I Ooh. presume. But I'm not flanking this guy, so I've got less of a percentage to hit. Um, you can have a. Move, move to there, and then they'll have a shot. It's your best chance for the second. Oh, get a grenade instead. Oh, right, it's telling me to use a grenade. Alright, so what does a grenade yeah. do? Three damage. Alright, so it's got health. Okay. Yeah. I suppose, like, if it hits, it's all, all it's 100% then. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's for the, I mean, for the actual grenade, the grenade is an area of effect, so it'll, like, it'll, it'll hit the grenade. It'll, uh, do that amount of damage no matter what. It's just you now dealt with you. Oh! Oh right, so Q and E rotates. Okay, that works. That's pretty cool. I like that. Ah, okay. Yeah. So this isn't. <laughs> this isn't my um best idea of a tutorial where you lose half your team at the very beginning. It makes you feel like you're losing straight from the off. It's over. It's Roger that, whenever it goes into the, the kill count, back to the Sky Ranger for yeah. immediate extraction. 
So if it if it does like a cinematic of it getting shot, I presume that means uh, that like the shot's gonna hit. Like if yeah, I'm gonna if miss. It in, if it starts going into a cinema. Whoa. If it goes into like a starts going into like a cinematic mode, you know that he's got the kill. Why are these red? Um, what the aliens? I well, the, the, these three. Oh, sorry. Uh, you are a couple of seconds behind me. It's just like it's too asking me to identify my base. I just don't know why. Uh, I don't know why you don't have more options. I don't know what's going on here. Well, I'm going to base myself in Europe because that seems like. Uh, we'll, we'll have a little look at you. Have a look at the benefits because you, these these will get you bonuses from the get go. So what does Europe give you? Europe gives so, you so, knowledge. Yeah, so it's laboratories and workshop cost fifty percent less to build and maintain. Uh, America is well sorry North America is all aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 50% less to purchase build and maintain which doesn't seem too bad but I mean laboratories and workshops seems like a better thing to do you will uh, throughout the game need to acquire scientists uh, and also engineers in order to uh, do research projects make things um, build uh, build rooms and areas within the base, and, uh, and to generally upgrade things and then do new research projects here, there, and everywhere. So that probably would be beneficial to you. Okay, I'm going to assume they're red because it's my first time playing or something. Probably. Well, we'll see. A lot of people like to actually, a lot of people like to start in South America. Are the autopsies worth doing then? Um, autopsies, I mean, once you've killed something, you'll end up making somewhere where you can do an autopsy and then you'll be able to uh, learn things from the bodies of the slain. So, uh, right, so I presume that I'd learn, like, nerve points yeah, and best places to hit them. eight days or something to do one Commander's kill, uh, or do one autopsy and get the results back, it's very useful to have be able to do those instantly. Then I'd say our work um, is cut out for us. And also any interrogations as well if you catch somebody alive. Oh, right. then you then you can go straight on to any But I presume that's only, that's gonna be like a limited thing to do because like like you're always gonna be building an aircraft, I assume. You're like Well, I don't know how they work. But you know, that's the thing, isn't it? It's, it's, it's the benefits of the beginning of the game or the benefits of the end of the game or the sort of like more medium benefits all the way through. I guess. Well, considering I've only got one soul, one dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna presume that he. Whoa. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, so let's go to the barracks then. So this is my. I've got all these soldiers, have I? And you've got a variety of them, yes. Okay. So this is my remaining guy. For the promotion. So the promotion icon next to abilities that you know they're eligible for promotion. So I click that. So he's got a rocket launcher. <laughs> yeah. So he. So he was. Yeah. He was actually. Uh, yeah. He. So he was given the class of heavy after that mission. Right. Okay. All oh, right. And even though there's only one choice, I still have to confirm it. So you can't. The the game automatically assigns your promotion then to like a specific class. Um, well, like because he he was get I could, something I think is partly based on how you did in the actual in the actual game, uh, the the previous mission, if they have nothing, um, but uh, yeah, you still have to uh, say that it is uh, you want that choice even if there's only one. Right. Okay. I was just wondering if like there was any way when you get a promotion to actually choose what they're promoted to so you could actually build your squad that way but obviously not so you basically have to keep training up rookies is what it is so you don't have like one with your approval we will begin research immediately I miss most of that Okay, uh, so I can't do this because I don't have enough corpses, but it wants me to do it anyway. Um, Get I some can't. more corpses, then, sir. Well, 
Uh, select weapon fragments or alien materials. Okay, so what does this do? Uh, so that increases weapons development and that increases armor? Uh, armor yeah, research? It will open branches of development. Anyway. Right, so what would, what would this do? And I need that to be able to develop weapons. Okay, fine. Uh, better weapons seems like a better idea. I presume I need to do everything down the line at some point. Yeah, everything down the line. It's, at the minute, it's kind of much, 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 much. Um, so... Whichever one you want to go. She's happy. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. She looks very tired under the eyes. 